Good morning, welcome to another video. We are on our way into work. It is Tuesday morning, Monday, and I didn't film. I'm sorry, I just, I wasn't feeling it. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> but, let's head into work. I stepped down on a manhole. Weird, freaked me out, because it, <laughs> uh, that's not terrifying at all. This week, we're gonna focus on being the best self we can be. Going to the gym four days a week. I went yesterday. Also, I would like to note, I have zero knee pain right now. I'm just like walking around, enjoying my best life because there's no knee pain. You know how good that feels for my new friends? My name is Stevie, and I post videos about the struggles of life, which includes my job a little bit, just a little bit, like not a lot, but. But anyway, uh, I injured my knee in February and I'm finally starting to see the results of PT and hard work and I'm starting to strengthen my muscles back up and it's making the world of difference. So, so the last few weeks I've been a little bit of a hot mess, emphasis on hot because the weather is hot outside. <laughs> but we're gonna focus on not being a hot mess, not even just hot. Well, okay, we can focus on being hot. Wait, God, so weird. Anyway, four workout days, diet on point, getting our water in, being the best, healthiest person we can possibly be and get out of the rut we've been in. Hello, we're home from school. We had a great workout. Uh-oh, you guys are sliding. I did not film any of it because I just wanted to get it done. I was pretty tired. It's, it was not a good day. My snack today is a tuna avocado salad. Ooh, I need to top it with jalapenos on a rice cake. It's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I was kind of like, oh my God, this looks so healthy, but it's pretty good, especially you gotta have the jalapenos on it, get a little extra juice to put on there. It's pretty good. And then dinner is either going to be the Thai turkey thing or sandwiches. So I'm gonna eat this and I gotta edit do all sorts of things you guys i'm so sorry i completely forgot about you and i'm pretty much done with dinner so i'm having doritos and then this sandwich has fresh mozzarella on it turkey cucumbers jalapenos a tiny and i mean tiny bit of mayonnaise and honey mustard which is like a not the sweet kind the kind that's 10 calories uh serving and that is dinner it's decent Oh, also, I low-key had pizza for lunch because a university came and bought us pizza. But when I track my food, <laughs> I always leave about 300 calories for a, for a, oopsie, there was a cookie at school. Like, I plan for that. And, like, by the end of the night, if I don't use it, then I'll, I'll eat something to fill my calories out for the day. I'm not starving myself, but I always plan an oopsie cookie because sometimes they just fall into your mouth and you just can't help it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But I mean, like, I didn't go off track today because I had those extra calories put aside. Now, is that smart or is that smart? I think it's smart. Good morning, welcome to Thursday. Um, made myself this morning. I've not lost any weight at all. I'm trying not to be really grumpy about it, but I've done everything perfect, like perfect. I've been made sure there were no excuses for me not to lose weight. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm just gonna put that on the shelf for right now. Like not losing weight, but my thoughts on that on the shelf. And uh, I gotta get into work, but I just wanted to say that one of my little tricks to get my 10,000 steps a day is I literally park my my truck at the furthest parking lot from my room possible. I cannot get any further from my, my classroom. So not only do I have to walk from here to my classroom right now, but when I leave for the afternoon, I gotta walk back and I do the same thing at the other school. So even though there's a closer parking lot to my teaching area, it's not a classroom, I park at a completely different parking lot and go through the entire school just to get my steps in. And that's just a good way to get your steps in and not even put effort into it really, because I mean, you, you don't even think about it. You have to go to your 
car. I have to go to my room. So that's a little tip. Like I'm sure you guys probably already do that, but like some people just say at stores and stuff, do it every single day at work. It makes a difference. Hello, it's me. I'm done working out. I didn't film it because I didn't feel like it. I'm sorry, besties. I didn't want to hang out with you today. I just wanted to get it done because I wasn't feeling super into it. And it was a leg day and leg days are not, they're fine. I'm just a little like about them because of my knee. But here's the thing. I've gone three days with zero knee pain since I started leg days. Like, yes, I was a, like, a, I, I first was going to just add PT exercises to my workouts, you know, and not have leg days. And I did that for like, I think a week or two, but then I started having dedicated leg days again. And ever since then, zero knee pain. Oh, you guys can't see me, I'm sorry. So that's really awesome. I think we're at like 95% healed. Guys, I'm in my feelings. I've been talking to my coach, Nicole, um, and my other coach from Trainwell. I've just been in my feelings. Um, I'm not losing weight. I should be losing weight, and I'm not. And I don't show you guys everything I eat because I don't want to put that much emphasis on my food, if that makes sense, as a person that has had disordered um, thoughts, thinking towards eating and stuff. Like, that's why I don't show you guys every little thing I put in my mouth. Because I don't want to bring attention to it like that. For me. Um, if it's, like, if it's something that you guys have seen, I don't post it. I don't film it half the time. If... Uh, but if it's like new and I'm kind of like into it, I can't see. I hope no one's coming. Okay. But anyway, um, that's that's why I don't show you guys all my food. Or by the time I'm eating pretzels, by the way. By the time I don't know I should have ate them before my workout, and I did. I forgot. But anyway, oh, uh, before, there we go, what was I going to say? Oh, so either I just don't want to put emphasis on what I'm eating, or by the time we get to dinner, I'm just like, meh, you know? So if you ever wonder why I never show dinner, <laughs> that's why. Vultures. I wonder what died. Okay, so I am feeling really emotional about just like life, I guess. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, we're going to do this later. This lighting is horrible. Good morning. Happy Friday. We have made it. It is payday, which is even better. Tonight, we are going to Oktoberfest. Weighed myself today, and we are 288.6. I think 288 point something. So we're down a little bit. It's gonna go right back up though because it's Oktoberfest. I tracked, I pre tracked everything to make sure I don't go over my calories, but it is gonna be higher in sodium, uh, higher in carbs, and uh, beer. So, <laughs> uh, no dessert though tonight, which sucks. But it is going to be a hot one today as well. It's not supposed to rain, but those clouds are looking mighty rainy. Oh, the sun's kind of cool. But that's the plan for the day. So did you see that they found the submarine that imploded 
trying to get down to the Titanic. It's creepy. You should look at it or Google it. You should look Google it. It's on TikTok everywhere too. And then also, apparently, we're gonna have two moons for like 56 days. Cause there's gonna be a comic, a comet. I keep wanting to say comic. Because there's gonna be a comet in orbit for 56 days and then it will make its way out of orbit. I guess that happened again in 1981. Does anybody remember that? Is anybody old enough to remember that? I was born in 89. So, I was not born yet, so I don't remember it, but I'm kind of excited to have two moons. I'm going to feel like I'm on a new planet or something. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys right now. Oh, is my face, um, it's been really red lately. I'm trying to figure out if it's, like, getting less red. Ready, ready eating it, you know, get the, get the, anyway, okay, bye. Every day I take a moment and listen to words of motivation or gratitude or mindfulness and I truly believe that it has changed my life. I feel my YouTube has started gaining some traction because of the affirmations I say to myself every day. Every single day I say, I am a YouTuber, I am healthy, I deserve health, I love working out, I work out. I'm a weightlifter, I am a healthy person, I am a vlogger, I am a content creator. Every single day, no matter what. And sometimes I write it down too. And since I've been doing that, I've been taking the steps towards being all of those things. And that's the, the thought behind manifestation. And mindfulness is that you declare out into the world what you want to be. But instead of saying, I want to be these things, you are these things. You say it enough time, you start believing it. And when you believe it, you start taking steps towards being those things. I truly do believe in manifestation. So this is a new workout you guys have not seen me do. This is from my new trainer. I felt really good after this workout, as you guys will hear in a moment. I still really need to focus on slowing down on some of these exercises, but you know what? I'll get there. And if not, I get to watch me do it too fast indefinitely when I edit these things. Before we go, I have a one last little thing to say at the end of this video. If you could like the video, it really helps push this content out to people like you and find my people, build our community. And when I mean our community, it's not just me. Each and every one of you really does support each other. And I have so many people on here that have their own channels and my subscribers support them and I support them. Their subscribers support me. And it's just a, a great, big, happy little community. So if you could hit that like button, help grow my community. And uh, here's my ending thoughts for the video. I wasn't going to vlog today. Uh, I just got home from the gym and my feelings are just, I have to, I have to let you, I have to talk to my besties about it. I feel so happy after the gym. Like I, best workout I've had in a while. I did leg stuff, zero, zero knee pain. <laughs> I almost cried. I kicked butt in the gym. My new train well trainer, like. Mwah, chef's kiss kicking my butt in all the best way possible but not like too much like I definitely feel like I'm gonna be a, so much stronger in in a few weeks in you know a few months so I just feel so happy right now man I love the gym so much <laughs> influencers in the wild <laughs> <laughs> but until next time friends be kind to yourself bye also this yogurt was delicious <laughs>